Tech Australia uh, gives us an enormous opportunity for nights like this so we can present who we are, what we're all about, um, and be able to present what we've been doing based out of Australia first, but then as we try to expand globally, uh, both in the UK and internationally, nights like this really give us the opportunity to present to a wider audience what's happening in the market. The economy in Australia is very positive. We've had 27 years of, of consecutive growth, and there are some fantastic opportunities down under at the moment. So we're very happy to be working in partnership with Tech Australia to help promote those opportunities here in London. So we're finding in the Chamber that we're getting a huge amount of interest from Australian startups that view London as a really obvious next place to spread their wings and also a lot of interest in London from a lot of the big established British companies that are interested in engaging with that scene, thinking about what Australia can bring to the UK that's different to the startup scene that you already have in London. Tech Australia means providing a really awesome platform for Australian companies to fly the flag of innovation around the world. Well, to us, Tech Australia means an amazing group of people getting stuff done. What I mean by that is in the fintech industry in general, uh, Australia is doing incredibly well. There's a lot of capital being deployed into this industry. There's a lot of amazing companies doing cool things too. Tech Australia means the efforts by the Australian business and tech community to try and create an outreach to the tech businesses from around the world. So for us, some emerging areas in tech to watch is definitely blockchain. As we're from a property background, we find there's a huge opportunity uh, with blockchain and sort of transactions between property landlords. Some emerging companies to watch in tech right now, especially in Australia, are those in financial technology. And the reason being the banking industry is going in under a once in a generation reform or, or inquiry. As far as emerging areas, I'll say that e-learning, being in that sector, is a massive part of what's coming out of Australia at the moment. Australia always seems to be a leader in e-learning. Uh, you can see companies such as Maps Online and 3P uh, and now us and what's been going on as we expand out of Australia and try to find our global market. Something to watch out for would be the, the Digital Health CRC, which is a cooperative research council just announced in Australia uh, a month or two ago. It's a collaboration of industry, academia, um, and the government and the aim is to really commercialise research and find some IP of value. We've seen some companies that are doing a lot of fintech work so Austrade just announced something called the Fintech Bridge which is actually to help companies move from London to Australia and vice versa so really building that bridge in fintech so a lot of the big Australian banks have been world leaders in AI, in machine learning, in using that to better uh, trade on commodity and, and stock markets so it's a really interesting sort of initiative from the Australian government to recognise the importance of fintech to the Australian economy and to really work to promote that as well.